Okay, I can hear me fairly well. All good? Yeah, we've got it. Cool. Oh, what?
Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to another exciting game of rugby at Saturday night in Marara. I'll be uh, one of your commentators tonight, and with me is Billy. Welcome, Billy. Evening, Rocky. I think, um, well, the weather is looking really interesting, if everybody can see in the background there. Hopefully that'll bypass us, but, mate, it's going to be good. Good temperature, not much wind. Yeah, a little, uh, only the the dew's only starting to set in now on the field. I had a look before the game, so no, it I'm should be playing. nice. I'm nice, not playing tonight. <laughs> nice clean game. So uh, yeah, hopefully this big storm that's been rolling in all afternoon can hold off or go around us. That'll be great to see. Yeah, there have been patches of rain, haven't there? There's been a few heavy, heavy hits there, hits in a few places. It hasn't been really widespread. So as it goes in the territory, you can be smashing down one spot and you can be a metre away and not get touched. Yeah, well, I got the report from home. We uh, had 40 mil in the last hour in Parat. So that's only two suburbs away. So hopefully that sticks away from the rugby tonight. Oh, that's all right. Everybody with their roses and everything down in Millionaire's Row there, they'll be right. Yeah, my hedge is looking good. Yeah, well, you would, mate. That's where... I'm, I, I cut my teeth the mean streets of Cullen Bay, mate. Oh, oh uh, what's you know, that like? Three million dealer street? No, no, mate. That's 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 the streets, mate. It's like the Crips, <laughs> the Bloods and the Crips down there. <laughs> <laughs> Just a lot more money and <laughs> safe, safer suit shelter. <laughs> yeah, no, tonight should be interesting. Um, they've got a new coach, Palmerston. Yeah, well, we all know what happens in the uh, NRL and the AFL when a new coach steps in. Um, but this isn't the NRL and the AFL, so I wouldn't expect them to do anything, <laughs> <laughs> anything the same. Nah, the underdog, let's back him. So tonight we've got Uni Pirates versus Palmerston Crocs and uh, new coach for the Crocs, so we're going to see how this one goes. Yeah, Mick Crossman's taken over. Um, can't say they had a coach before that, did they? No, I don't think they have. I think they've just been waiting for someone to step, step up. up. Oh, yeah, yeah. They've waited for two weeks before the finals. <laughs> <laughs> That's oh, all right. Look, Palmerston, um, I think, you know, they've, they've been blooding a few young people who have really stepped up. Uh, they've got a huge junior base, so it would be good to see, sort of get some benefit from that. And uni, everything to lose with that tight um, three, you know, Cougars, yeah, uni Coug and... and South. Well, the Cougars, Uni and Dragons being so tight, that sh that tussle for the second, third, fourth is really important, as we keep uh, bringing up. But, um, yeah, Uni, everything to lose. Um, but I would say tonight um, I'd be behind Uni. Yeah, I think they're the uh, very much favourites tonight, Uni. Yeah. They're all ready uh, to go there, just waiting for Palmerston to join the field. Yeah, and you got to give it to them. They have struggled for numbers this year. Um, as I said, they've got a huge, uni, uh, huge junior base. It was, you know, I think it was 2015 they played in the grand final against South, and I, they put something like 26 points on South in the first half. Then South, as you can sometimes get with them, yeah, put about 39 on them in the second <laughs> half, and that was not a um, Palmerston side to uh, take lightly. No. That they year, have but since then, they've struggled, haven't they? Yeah, they have been bleeding, uh, blooding a lot of their uh, juniors into the seniors, which, you know, I'll say is part of a rebuild for the uh, Agro team and it will pay dividends later on. Yeah, if they can maintain some of these young fellas they're bringing in, um, you know, you've got uh, James White and a few of those other kids. If they can maintain those kids and just bring a few more through, a couple of years, they'll be fine. Yeah, well, James White, I reckon he's one of the most fearless players in the comp right fearless. now. He keeps running at the big boys, gets <laughs> bounced backwards and gets back up and does it all again. Yeah, Match him with uh, Caleb Smith in uh, number 10 and maybe a fullback role tonight. And Palmy are looking really good on the card. So in a few years' time, they'll be... Or even next year, you know, a good season underneath their belt. Experience is everything. Well, you don't know who you're going to pick up, and now we're playing in the uh, wet season. There are a lot of people from down south sort of filling that gap between seasons, sort of maintaining their fitness and development. So you don't know who they're going to bring through. They may get some people from down south who are really handy. Yeah, as we're about to get underway here, looks like uh, Robbie Butcher is going to get us underway. Yeah, the general. And here we go. Yeah, it's a nice kick, isn't it? Nice and high. Yeah, Palmerston let that bounce in between three of them. Oh, and, there, and there's Warhope. Yeah, typical sort of, I'll just knock you over as I go. And there we go, the forward just nice and tight, and he's just bounced one, bounce two. The legs are just powering through for Uni. They've just set that up nicely. And Lay, he's just, just getting that ball back. I think Butcher's got a plan, and yeah, the forward just one off, bang. Felton, nice grab, takes him straight to ground. 
Later Butcher, Butcher just held onto it a bit long and they've just overrun it. Oh no, he's gone play on. I thought they dropped yeah, it, knocked it on there he myself. Said they but came anyway. backwards. Yep, no, well, well done. The referee was there and there we go. And there's a war hope straight over. Yep, now I'm not sure which one that is. That's, I don't know if that's Sean or not, but I'll have to get back to you on that because um, there are a couple of war hopes running around. And well, it looks like Sean with a big old belly getting oh. over the line. Hey, they're both barrels, mate. Don't worry about that. <laughs> a pair of them. And they never knock a few blokes over, too. Well, that's all they're there for. Yeah. Yeah, you wouldn't want to uh, be calling last drinks and have them at the back of the line, would you? No, they'll be uh, at the front of the line in a matter of seconds. Yeah. Human you, wrecking balls. Well, you'd find yourself on your back pretty quick. Yeah, I think so we've sort of seen the platform and what to expect from tonight, haven't we? Yeah, I think uh, Uni are just going to work on possession and uh, maybe a few set plays, see what they can dish out. Looks like Butcher's going to be on kicking duty tonight. I've seen, uh, I've just got the Palmerston list here, but I'm not sort of going to, um, I'm going to double check a few of them first, but they seem to have, um, well, Eddie Weaver's come up from Singleton with his dad, Drew. Um, Drew reckons he's not putting the boots on tonight, but if anybody knows Drew, he's, he was a long servant of the Jabiru Bush Rats and then went into the Palmerston um, and probably he's a long servant of NT Rugby, so someone, one of those guys who's put everything in, so it's good to see him back and uh, Eddie's just uh, strapped him on for the night. Good to have a, a young Palmerston junior haven't come back for a crack. Yeah, definitely. That's where, you know, rugby up here, we, the bloodlines come back yeah. and make the game possible. As we're underway here from Palmerston. A huge towering kick, giving them every possible. Right. It's been knocked on there by Uni, so that's a great outcome from Palmy. Yeah, good kick. When it landed right on the button. Yep, and of course, uh, Robbie Butcher missed that conversion there, so it's only 5 0. Crocs are be licking their lips with the ball back in their hands instantly uh, after Uni scoring there. So, number five for Palmerston, you see the back there. That's actually their coach, Mick Crossman, who's taken over. Yep, Uni, nice quick ball. They've gone out, out to the centres, out to Warhope. And Warhope just put it on the boot. He just thought he'd just give a nudge for the speedy wingers to just clean it up, but it actually has gone out on the full. Yeah, that's a big error there by him. So we're going to have a line out back to where he kicked that from, right in front of the Uni bench. And uh, hopefully Palmy can get a little bit of a better line out this time. Yeah, I've not seen him kick before. Oh, I have. It's um, it's an interesting technique that he has, and it doesn't always come off. So well, it's not usually his first option, is it? No, <laughs> his first option is to run straight at the opposition. A uh, second option to go through the gap, and probably fifth option is to go uh, for the kick. So as Uni won the line out here, they're going to pop that off the back. You know, the centre is just absolutely cleaned up there on a nice clean hit, and we're going to go to and deck hit. Pass this inboard. No, a little show and go from the scrum half. Good counter rucking there. Looks like number two is going to have a run there. James Poulton. Yeah, see, this is where these... And a big right, collision there. There's White looking. Before headbutt happened in that collision. Going to put it out to the backs. 23 is going to put it on the boot. And it's been caught and called a mark. From Butcher, but there was a penalty advantage. And we're going to have a tackle without the ball penalty. Yeah, they need to take the points here. Every time they get up here, they need to just have a nudge, don't they? Oh, I, th I think they'll actually go for the points uh, for the try. Nice attacking footy. And they've done me, Cole. They're going to go for the points. Well, you, you know, look, in all fairness, you know, they probably haven't got the strike power that Uni got, so any opportunity they've got to uh, get a couple, they need to just make sure that every time they get up here, they come away with something. Um, I think we saw just then with the uh, that close, tight play in the forwards, um, they need that leadership from Crossman and Felton in there just to talk to the young guys and talk to the team to, I think, because as they showed there, until they kicked it, which was you know, down Butcher's throat, which is probably um, the last thing you want. Well, penalty advantage, you always risk your hand, I guess. Oh, yeah, I guess I didn't really consider Benefit that. it out. But at the end of the day, I mean, they need to just keep... Ball in hand. Yeah, ball in hand. Sa safe, s safe rugby. 
is uh, we're going to have a great view of this uh, penalty attempt here by their 23. And we're going to go tonight. Uh, looks like Paul is going to have a good kicking action on him. Oh. And he's put that through the centre. So Palmy there catching up. So we're going to have the <laughs> Uni Pirates 5 and Palmerston Crocs 3 with 33 minutes to go in the first half. See, that's, that's, a, that's a usable platform, isn't it? You know, like you've, got, you've seen one team probably, you know, got the structure, got the ability, they can just work their way down, score tries. But, you know, that's what's going to keep Palmerston in the game. Just getting up the field, making the most of it. Yeah, definitely. They're going to have to have some ball retention tonight and a, a lot of defensive efforts, I think, is on the cards for Palmerston. Huge kick off there by Butcher. Caught by Palmerston. They're going to put it on the boot straight away. Yeah, Pirates all ready to go. And Butcher, as usual, pinpoint position. And he's one step one, step two with a palm. He's got support everywhere, but he's just held onto it. The latest like platform. Oh, and it's a bit messy, but it's gone backwards. It's all a dog's breakfast at the moment, but uh, Josh Hall has just cleaned it up and hit the ground. He's just set it up nicely, lay ready for. Oh, they're up quick, Palmerston. Yeah, it from the side there. Is coming the in from, from the, the side. Roof? Yeah, geez, he looked like he was up there pretty quick, wasn't he? Yeah, well, they got away with one earlier. There was a little bit of offside play at one of the breakdowns. Uh, the number nine had kicked that forward through the ruck, and one of the boys saw it at his feet, picked it up, but they already had the penalty advantage, so it would have been their ball anyway. Butch is going for a nice long kick, and he's uh, put that out about 15 metres away from Uni's uh, attacking try line here. Well, if we look at the pl what was done last week, you know, we just, Palmerston at this end have just got to make it scrappy. Just like the, they probably don't have the strike power the Dragons have, and they probably don't have the, probably um, the power in the forward pack. But if they can make this scrappy, it'll make it hard for Uni. There goes Rybo, he's ready to go at the lay. Oh, and boom, there goes Warhope again, just a big palm, but they've taken him down. He's still past the advantage line though. Lay to Butcher, he's cut out one. And they've gone to the fullback and uh, looks like it's Canavas there just taking the ball down. Which, and then bang, number five, Ollie, Hilt, Ollie Linton. He's just been taken right near the line. Butcher step one, step two, and he's seen the gap and over. Yeah, straight yeah. through the middle of two tacklers there. Who couldn't get a shoulder on him as we uh, hopefully get the replay. Yeah, geez, there wasn't much of a gap there. I'll tell you what, he just had half a sniff, but um, the good players don't need much of a gap. They just need uh, a bloke to be off balance. And here's the replay coming through. Yeah, you watch here the two defenders. They just sort of throw their arms out and don't put, don't lower their body weight and get their foot near the ball. Here we go. Check so this out. As he, up. As number Butcher. five is going to get sat down by the number eight from Palmerston. Butcher's going to get this as first receiver. And you watch these two defenders here. Two defenders, steps on the inside and then steps back through them. So he steps right, or steps left and then steps right between them. Had them both off balance. They probably just didn't lower their body weight and get their shoulders close enough to him. And that's a secret to good players. They can they can get that. You know what, we, we watch young kids play and we watch a lot of people play and they think, oh, it's, they won't run two players. You know, they'll try and, oh, there's a big gap. What they've got to understand is someone off balance. So there goes Butcher straight over the dot. Too easy. Yeah, it, that was a, a helpful try from him. Nice and close to the post, and that's going to make the score 12 3. Uni leading pa uh, Palmerston with 30 minutes to go. And as I was saying, you, know, just, you just got to get them off balance, don't you? And once they're off balance, it's geez, hard to turn them around, particularly if they're quick. Like, Yeah, Butch has got that little bit of a one in the first meter, he's up to full speed. He hasn't got much top speed, but he gets there very quickly these days. He's, a, he's becoming a very smart rugby player with his uh, oh, well, aging process. He's just turned 33, he's old bugger now. And a oh. Good hit there by Palmerston on the re-kick. Yeah, Zachary Mott took it nice and cleanly. Now just laying the platform, there's a bit of- Penalty advantage. There. there you go, the forwards are just lining up there just to get a few settlers there. 
Josh Hall again, just nice little hit up by the advantage line and Butchers. Just a little chip over the back. Just putting a bit of pressure on the fullback and the winger. Yeah, he and had the advantage, so he had a crack at giving him a bit of gap to run in and diving over. Hmm. I guess with uh, Palmerston, they need to, they're showing a lot of enthusiasm and a, probably a couple of times that enthusiasm has just got them in trouble, but you don't want to see them uh, step back from that. No, they have, they have looked good early on. It's going to be a question of how long they can uh, maintain this mm. constant attack if they're not going to get the, their own hands on the ball. Yeah, I mean, there's a, as we always say every week, defence just drains them, doesn't it? I know, so there's numbers here. Palmy is short on numbers. Oh, and Rossman. they've won the line out of the back there. Yeah. He's left all alone. Well, the, well, Palmerston actually uh, had one extra in there, but they've got the ball back from Crossman. But it was Palmerston's throw, so it doesn't matter. <laughs> they've gone wide there, and that's drifted forward, but territory flat, and he's been picked up and absolutely... Well, he hasn't been dumped uh, yet. Player no, no, in the air, he's got a release. Placed. Gently placed. And Palmerston going to come back here and play the ball back there to big number 18. He's put that down. Gareth Felton. He just gets younger and younger every week, doesn't he? Yeah. <laughs> Unfortunately, he's knocked that on, so it's going to be university uh, feed in the scrum here. Going to have that oh, 38 metres away from their uh, defensive try line. So that big number one... Uh, Brenton is on debut tonight. And he's at a fight. He's at a fighting weight of 150 kilos, and apparently been tearing it up in B grade. That's what we like to hear. B grade boys getting their uh, Guernsey because uh, B grade, as we all know, are the better players. Well, at 150 kilos, you're going to go all right, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. hard to stop. Yeah. <laughs> Big push here by Palmerston. Oh, Jesus, pressure on the scrum in there. Whose head's going to pop? And uh, you got the ball out, luckily. Butcher going for distance. And, oh, I tell you what, he's just pinpointed that probably an inch inside the line. Well, I had that bouncing on the line, but uh, Tachi is going to prove me wrong and yeah, say it yeah. didn't. That's why you're up here, my friend. Yep. Blind as a button. Blind, blind as a button. Forgot me glasses. Always helps. Yeah, Al's down there. He knows what's going on. I have questioned him before and got told very quickly what to do with myself, and I learned that lesson quick. <laughs> be a haul I'd say throwing that in oh there we go and White was thrown up there but geez they didn't have hold of him real did they no we're going to have a knock on is the call here you're going to be university scrum feed and one thing I did miss last week too is um, so Brenton is making his debut but uh, Christian made his debut last week and he's pretty handy so but the way COVID's going at the moment you need as many of these blokes stepping up and have a crack as you can because finals time could be an absolute mess if COVID hits anyone yeah balls out it's a bit messy but Butcher which a war hope to Wistrand. Wistrand has held on to it. He's in a oh, he's busted one, been taken down by Christian. Lay again to Butcher. Light feed steps one. He's hard to tap, hard to bring down. Offload of that there. And that's offloaded to War Hope, who again dangerous, really close. And Ollie, he's just been dragged down. What's he a metre short? Inches short. The ball's just sitting there. And the referees brought it back. Not releasing. Geez, a lot of pressure on. He, he was, geez, he was close. Yeah, good choice. Dominant scrum. Take advantage of it. You know, have a 
scrum here for University. Five metres out from their own trial line here. They'll be looking to uh, hopefully push this over. But it has been a good scrum tonight so far from Palmerston. The last one was a bit of a fight, wasn't it? Right yeah. Carefully set. Boom. In. Jeez, they've got to hold it. A lot of pressure on Uni. There's Palmerston. Good work. Oh, back of the scrum. The number eight. He's too strong, too big, too powerful, and over. Yeah, it was a nice number eight play there by Uni. Definitely one they've uh, been practicing by the looks of that. Yeah, Josh Hall or Tonga, as he's known. Um, yeah, he, he just, that was a bit easy for him, wasn't it? Bump, 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 boom. Yeah, a little bit easy. Not sure a big fellow like that's going to get tackled by no one. Uh, a few Palmerston fellas here having a bit of a please explain. A bit of a, he's asking that he was getting bored in and rolled over yeah, well, in that scrum. The front row in a scrum is a game in itself, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. So, what do you do when you get beaten in the scrum near the line? Tell the referee they are doing something illegal. <laughs> <laughs> get the touchy to watch the next one. Hopefully he does it again. I know, right, butcher. As we have a light mist of rain coming down, that might uh, make it a little bit slippery underfoot and slippery for the ball in the air. Of course, I never say no to rain these days. Most of Australian drought. But a uh, successful conversion there, making the score 17 3, Uni leading Crocs with 22 minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, I don't think uh, Palmy can do much more at the moment. It's just sort of more maybe curb a bit of enthusiasm and just a bit more talk, keeping their defence straight, isn't it? Yeah, they haven't had much ball in hand. No. He have been controlling that. Oh, straight through. He, oh, wow. And you knew you've taken that ball out. What a great kick from Palmy. Zachary Mott, I mean, you couldn't get him for knocking it on or dropping it because it went straight through him. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's like, I mean, a Pavlova, the dog would have been uh, licking him for weeks. I'll give you a tip, mate. If it was any food, he wouldn't have dropped it. <laughs> As we have the uh, NT Rugby's best haircut, throwing the ball in here. Nice short ball there. And oh, White came around on the inside, but he just spilled it, didn't he? Yeah, knock on there and uni ball. Yeah, Lay looking for a hit up. He's gone to Butcher again. He's just sent it wide. He's up those quick backs at uni. have got an opportunity here to run onto it. Caleb here. Oh, uh, okay, a lot of pressure, wasn't it? Off that one. Usually at the 10th spot, finds himself at fullback tonight. Well, he had Matthew Sanderson boring down on him, and I, uh, it was one of those things. I don't know, there was no one near him to talk, so I think you just hear the footsteps, don't you, and just yep. hope that hope you can get, get the ball in your hand. Yeah, they were already planning the next move and didn't quite work out for him. Uni with the line out here, two metres past halfway on their attacking half. Ribo just getting nice lined up, too easy. Lay to Butcher, Butcher to Warhope. Warhope back ball. on the inside, nice hit up to the number eight, Tonga. Tonga has just laid it, but there's a bit of pressure. And Lay, just the box over in the vacant corner, just going for, and he's out on the full. That's well, another kicking error for Uni tonight. Would have been handy if it come off. Uh, there was no one in the pocket. He would have got him in a great position. Yeah, uh, Uni have won that line out. Pinched it. He cleaned it up nicely. Butcher to Tonga, Tonga. He's just getting all the hit-ups tonight, isn't he? He's just ready for it on the inside. Butcher light his feet, just asking questions, hey. but he's been an they've been answered and he's been taken firmly. And the referee has... Oh. Oh. Yeah, that's a great call, actually. I thought he was going to point the other way. Butcher not releasing penalise. Big number eight there. He was trying his best to get out, and I thought he was the one penalised. But a huge kick and here by Palmerson. 
It hasn't gone out. It stopped in the end goals. Good pressure on the kick through, and they're going to get a nice uh, gain from meterage there. Yeah, that's still a result. I, yeah, that's still a good result. I mean, from where they were, what, just just uh, bet yeah. halfway between the 22 and the 10, that's still a fair um, effort. Yeah, 50, so 60 metres is a great that. effort. Mm. And they've overthrown that. It's been better back by Uni. Yeah, nicked again, and then Bush. Oh, charge down. Charge down. Great work. Uh, been fluffed around by Palmerston in the back line there, but they're going to get away with it. Caleb's finally held onto the ball, and he's taken it up just to settle the play. Great option there by the young fella. Showing a little bit of experience in his young years already. Good run up by the number 10, James. Oh, oh, that's a shoulder charge and a half. And there's the debutante. He just gave him a nice little, oh, I just thought I'd just introduce myself, and he did. Yeah, pass that out to the backfield there. I'm going to do a cutout out to the 13, into the 12. He's put that on the boot. Oh, it's gone, gone towards the runners. Runners. Jeez, I need to put some pressure on here. Yeah, Crops unfortunately, the uh, 15 there, a little bit too small to come back two forwards. And um, Uni have flicked that out of the back and uh, put that on the boot and cleared some territory. Yeah, good play by Crocs, hey? Just, just asking a few questions out wide. Yeah, a bit lively. Uh, it's good to see. Yeah. That's, what, that's what they're going to have to do. They're going to have to make Uni defend, but not the normal defense. They're going to have to keep them guessing, put a few grubbers through, spread it out wide nice and early, a few cutouts, and see what Uni have to do, uh, have answers for with that type of defense. Well, they've got to ask questions. If they're not asking questions, attack, they're, just, they're not going to drain the uh, energy that they need to. Oh, it's and a mess. lost another line out. And the number eight, it's showing the forwards can do anything. Oh, yeah, kicks out over the top. We will call that the uh, the Travers Hail Mary. <laughs> Doesn't have the same result, but you got Rivo putting pressure on, and Uni got defenders there, but he's seen, he's yeah, seen a, a bit of air. Chip over the top. He knew that he took that back in, and that's been knocked on by Uni. I don't know, did he leave his hand? Uh, Referee he's says got no. away with one. And oh, they're rushing quick, out of defense there. But Rivo has also been taken early. Good defense. They've just snuck out from everywhere. And lay, lay to the big number six in uh, Radford. Radford's just using strong legs. Lay to Christian. Christian's just held his feet. And again, over the advantage zone. Just keep turning Crocs around. Yeah. Their defences are struggling here. They're just not getting numbers in the right spot here. His time has to stop running all day. He's getting every chance to run. And he White's in trouble out there for Crocs. Holding his arm. That's the last thing the Crocs need. Oh, there's got to be a penalty there, I'd say. Yeah. Yeah, umpire's finally seen one there. Brant all over it here, he was. But White's in trouble over there. He was holding his arm, and gee, he's been a good player for them the last few weeks. You don't want him to go off. Yeah, he's still holding that arm. Mm. Hopefully it's just a stinger. As uh, Uni have kicked that out for a uh, line-out after that penalty, and they're going to have a line-out. Uh, we'll give them five metres out from their uh, attacking try line. A few late numbers running in for them. Just a tactic. Yeah, Ryan, too easy. Oh, he's just thought, I'll just do the backward step, but he's been held up. They've got to lock this in if they can lock. Oh, nice drive by Crocs. And, oh, the number one, yeah, yeah. Brent, he's just said, oh, I don't think you're going anywhere, my friend. And boom, on his own, has just dropped him. Ball's come Great down, work. and it's in pumps in hand, and they've gone for a kick straight down the centre. There's no advantage from that knock-on, but it's been called fair. Yeah, and the backs have just, all oh, the number 14, Sanderson, and he just took him on and probably didn't have a right to run through <laughs> like that, but the number 12 took him a bit high. Yeah, I think Patrick Palmy, Williams. Yeah, it was a good try from the backs there, but I think Palmy would be asking a little bit of question of how it comes out the front of a all without being knocked on. Yeah, well, he went through two, didn't he? Yeah, it's again, they're just not getting their body height right with their defence. As Butch is going to have another easy kick just to add to a few points for his season. Yeah, he just.
just comes down to a bit of enthusiasm, desperation, and that's what that's why you don't want to see blokes like where White has gone off. He's left the field, and that's why you don't want to see blokes like him go because if anything, what they what they're lacking in experience and size and stuff, you know, enthusiasm yeah. counts for a lot. And he is a really enthusiastic player. Yeah. He wants it more than most players. Successful conversion there by Butcher, and that's going to make the score. 24-3, Uni leading the Crocs with 13 minutes to go in this first half. Yeah, just got to give a bit of a shout-out to a friend of mine who flew out uh, last night, um, Yannicka, who works for me at Rain and Horn in Darwin. Her husband, or sorry, I shouldn't say husband, not married, but her boyfriend, Kevin, avid watcher of us on a Sunday afternoon, so he's probably one of our best watchers, one of the two, I'd say. Uh, there's a few more than that, but uh, yeah, very thankful for him tuning in as Palmerston back underway here. Oh, and a nice little flip out the side there. And they've just held it up, just got past the advantage line. That was a big number four, Mott, who just ran it out, but it's been it's spilled out and... He's called that a knock mm, on. Okay, and Uni will get the throw. Yeah, they'll give him the option of a throw or a scrum. They'll definitely go for the line out. That's Uni's number one go-to. It has been for the last, yeah. uh, I think, about eight seasons. Their lineup. Oh, look, and and if you know, if anything, if they ha if anything happened, Palmerston could learn a lot from last week's game, from what the Dragons did to them. Lay to Butcher, Butcher. Jeez, I tell you what, he's done he's done some K's tonight, hasn't he, Tonga? Ribo. Warhope. Oh, out to the 13. Russell. Russell's just doing it easy. He's got acres. He's throwing the dummy. He's got not much in front of him. He'll take him on. And he's... Is he held up? He's over. Yeah, well done. He just sort of... It was almost like slow motion, wasn't it? Yeah, he didn't... It's almost like he didn't want to score the try with the last 15 to go. We slowed down and waited for the Palmy defence to come to him. Oh, what a bit of eyes up rugby, in it? He sort of... You know, some blokes will tuck it and go. He sort of observed and kept his eyes up and yeah he knew what he was doing yep okay he got the points and he got rewarded for his effort there it was nice i'll give him a 30 meter run there this is starting to look bad for the crocs though nice and early they they just haven't had any ball it's they're just kicking back off to uni and uni are scoring within a few phases so they really need to work on their defense and just set something up for themselves This one uh, right on the sideline there for Butcher. Oh, well, at least he's going to have a challenge, isn't he? In or out? I'm calling a miss. Yeah. He didn't allow for the, uh, the rain nah, on the ball. No, he's got this easy. No, nah, he slots it. Made a mockery of me. They make score 33-3. to three. Uni Pirates leading Palmerston Crocs oh, mate. with 10 minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, so Kev, Yannicka, probably sitting down on a Sunday afternoon, relaxing. Does enjoy WA. You won't be getting out of there for a while. Oh, well, you can get out of there. You just can't <laughs> get back, back in. He's <laughs> got his own little country he's running over there. Yeah, I think the barbed wire's going up as he's speaking it. Yep. <laughs> oh, a nice high kick. Get under it. Good pressure. Oh, oh, and again, the pressure's just got to him. But there's Mott. Mott's cleaned it up. Lay Tonga again, as usual, just lining it up. Well, Tell you what, more runs than Robert DiCostello he's had. It's a poor defensive line that Palmerston are actually setting. If you look at them, they've got a few rushing out and they're just giving them the gaps in between the players. Yeah, and there's not many pushing across. Look, one, two, three, four, five, five forwards. Nowhere near the play, are they? Uh, there's a lot of hands on heads and uh, keeling over ready by the big boys from Palmy. Yeah, we're straying out wide here, calling for the wide kick. Don't think you'll get it. There's too many forwards just looking for a bit of meat. Yeah, they've got numbers on this right side. And we're going to come back oh, 15 metres for the penalty advantage there. That's a long advantage given there. That's nearly 20 metres. Yeah, well, uh, there was a... 
Palmerson at a forward in there locking the ball up, so they want to give him a chance to get the distance in the line out throw. Yeah, it's been a hard year for Palmerston. It's just been a slog, and then you have those years when it's a slog. It just the game just a little bit different. You sort of you want it to sort. You know, as much as we love the game, <laughs> you think, oh, geez, you know what? <laughs> I might just have a bit of a break and bring on next year, eh? Yeah, I think a few of those boys will be looking for a bit of an end of season and a regather and regroup, especially now they've got a coach underneath them and see what he can deliver. Christian to Rybo. They go on the drive, have locked it in, but Palmerston have given a nice little drive back. Yeah, good. Nice and low. Good them all there. The ball, they have got the ball back though. Lay's just gone himself a little dart and he's oh. been taken nicely by the number nine. Mahoney. Yeah, nice little clean out there. And Butcher got himself again. He's out of sniff. He's taken the room. Oh, and they've gone the they've gone the pass. That was Russell, and it's been knocked forward. No, he's called backwards. Oh well, again. It's all right. And he's coming out of the side of the ruck there, and uh, Palmerson put that on the oh, toe. Oh, tell you what, Mott got on that right on time. And he's got a knock on from Uni that time. Yeah, well, you know that's a bit of reward for. Uh, Hard work there. Yeah, just as uh, Palmer's was trying to kick that, the uni player dived on it and unfortunately left it behind, so got called for the knock on there. Yeah, Smith, he was close to getting the boot on. There wasn't, there weren't many backing him up either. He was away if he'd got some uh, boot to that a bit earlier. Yeah, so Palmer's going to have the feed here. Deep inside their uh, half again. Yep. We'll see what they do with this scrum. They have been good in the scrum tonight, though. That has been a plus for them so far. Yeah, good scrum by Parson, driving them backwards. So when they flick that out of the back, a little bit of a poor pass. He's going to put that a nice, huge torp. Right straight down the throat of the 15 for uni. Yeah, you he just sort of sell it like two. He's just getting oh, some acres there in good here, hit. giving him so much room, but he's hit him nicely and locked him down. Butcher, he's been heard the talk from the uh, outside backs. He's inside the 22, just a nice little ground to bring it back. Yeah, and that's going to be a goal line dropout. He yeah. started running towards the 22, but the uh, new rules that came into rugby oh, last year, last year mid last year, mm. so it's now a goal line dropout instead of a 22 dropout. I think that comes down to a few of these boys probably not watching a lot of rugby. Well, it is a safe option. Instead of trying to pearl it out now, they can get a good kick underneath them. But and the way he moved his head, I thought he might have. Yeah. <laughs> Whoops. Yeah. The young fella, Caleb, there. A nice long kick there. Yeah, Warhope, just, oh, I'll just knock it back, give myself some room, and here he goes, about to wind up. Here he goes, he's Steve Roach style. Boom, he's hit Straight past through. Felton, past Crossman. Oh, oh, I tell you what, he's, there's been the shoulder and it's been there's been a bit on here. And we're finally called okay. a shoulder charge in this game. Well, he's, it's, it's hurt, he's hurt himself more than anyone. As we can see, Warhope just got the wind up. He was nothing stopping him and then he had one man to beat and boom, he's no. just been oh, hit. There's an arm that was wrapped in that. That was fine. Yeah, it's coming from a front rower, though. Biomechanics. Biomechanics <laughs> is not really a front rower. He's got, he's going to get a card for this, though. Oh, that's that's a shame because I'm seeing oh. an arm come through. Look, end of the day, mate. And he's been given a yellow. Ten minutes in the bin. It's fair enough. Yeah, you know, in a lot of these situations, you've got to take it in real time, and in real time, that didn't look great, but. And they're going to bring out the captain from uh, Uni here. Yeah, look, he's just going to say to them. Third man in, you can't do that. And then the fourth and fifth, you can't do that one either. Yeah, well, I guess Hall didn't really need to go in. Old mate had uh, hurt yeah, himself. Well, for points. Oh, jeez. Okay. 
would have thought they'd back themselves there. Yeah. And he just wants to settle the game back down and get the argy bargy out. So you could say the referee called that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Look, I'm saying that it's not netball. That was a fine tackle, but we'll call it up. He's missed a few shoulder charges early, but we're finally getting there. There's been a few shoulder charges coming through the comp lately, actually. I think the few leagueies are forgetting what sport they're playing. Yeah, well. And an easy conversion there for Butcher, and that's going to make the score 36 to 3, leading the Crocs with three minutes to go in the first half. Yeah, we all know, I think, there is a bit of frustration around the game about the uh, tackles that are made, particularly, you know, we saw in the World Cup bit of frustration stuff and we all uh, would like to see shoulder charges taken out of it and I'm not saying that wasn't a shoulder charge but so many times you see a bloke he'll hit, hit somebody hard but he's just hitting that sweetly that as his arms have gone going around that they've bounced off so quick in it yeah yeah well they were even penalizing the ball runners in the world cup because of how uh, they were going into contact well, well, we saw that didn't apparently if you were leading with your your arm and you hit them high yeah. that was your fault so no, that, that's the that's the Australian rule when Australia plays they do that. Yeah. Fair dick. A long kick there by Palmerson. Yeah, Lay just he decides he'll just uh, send it back over their heads and. That could be an it. option for him because now it's Palmerson ball instead of them having a tackle for 80 meters. <laughs> so that could be an option that comes in into play. Because mm. at least now they've got ball in hand, whereas when it was going short, you need just running it out. Five minutes later, scoring. See how this works out for him. Yeah. Line out here, two metres short of the halfway line. Palmy's attacking 50. Yeah, Crossman and Felton ready to lift the jumper. Ooh, oh, good, good take. take. What? Great take. Yeah, go to the back seat. 23 is going to put that on the boot, chips over the top, but straight down the wing and throw it. That's a terrible kick. Uh, Sanderson had that for breakfast, didn't he? And he's just sent it. And didn't go out. So young Caleb there at fullback, going to put that on the boot. Bit of a shank kick, but it's working to perfection. He's running oh. through, making everyone side. Butcher with clean air, clean heels, and I'll just have this one. See you later. Oh, taken well by Smith. Yeah, he managed to get the ball off, though. Popped it off. Sanderson, Sanderson there, just ready for it. Oh, Sorry, he's going to call a high Sanderson, shot here. That was Canavas. Oh, it's going to be card. 15 on 13. Last thing Palmer's to need, isn't it? That's another 10 in the bin there for Palmerston. I think that number two is actually Eddie Weaver. I could be incorrect if that's the case, but um, yeah. Yeah, Carter Smith back at fullback. He's 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 been well playing well for them at uh, five eight, hasn't he? Mm. Not a, not a natural five eight. He's been feeling easy, going well. Are we going to blame time off here that he injured player, or were the player staying down after that uh, last tackle? Yeah, minute, minute 20 to go. It's just uh, it's time for the Crocs to go and reassess, I think, and uni probably use the second half to sort of work on a few things, haven't they? Yeah, a few team plans and a few set pieces. Yeah, you see White in the background there sort of... Uh, Massage on the shoulder and a collarbone. Doesn't look good though if you're using the other hand to lift your arm, but. No. He is an up and coming talent, and Palmerston will be hoping that he sticks around with uh, yeah. NT Rugby. And he, he is good enough to get poached for down south, or, you know, job might come up, but they'll be really hoping that he stays with, sticks out and stays with the club. Yeah, look, he's. As the Canavas. uni player is getting escorted off the ground here, Canavas, holding his yeah. arm. So his arm uh, looks like it's a bit shot. Right, 15 on 13, minute 20 to go. Yeah, go the line. They're going to have to, aren't they? Yeah. They're just going to try and, you know, get the lead, and that way maybe the coach does agree to him doing a few practice runs on them. Quick line out throw there by Uni. Butcher, Butcher to Warhope, the wrecking machine. He's just gone one, two, and then over. Good lie tackle. Oh. To the second one. 
The big number 25 for Uni. Geez, they've got some uh, barrels run around, haven't they? Yeah, that's it. They've got a lot. That is a 44 gallon drums with legs. You're not going to stop him when he's got a full head of steam. He started 15 metres early. He'd have to war hope too, wouldn't he? Right. Yeah, he's got the barrel look of a war hope, so yeah, we'll give it to him. Got the technique. And the little bit of a mullet <laughs> going on, like his uh, namesake. I'm going to safely say, yeah, definitely. Yeah, you look at her, he winds up about five metres early and pretty much goes unshoulder. So again, two arms just hung out to dry there. A couple of backs no. in the, against the big barrel. Not going to work. Not many blokes going to stop them that close anyway. Uh, definitely not. Jeez those, geez, those boys get some energy about five out there, don't they? <laughs> <laughs> they, might walk, they might walk 95 metres, but you can five out there. Never <laughs> oh, you're calling the seagull effort. The no, seagull. I'm not saying that at all. I'm just saying the enthusiasm comes when, <laughs> when they're close to the finish line. Uh, seagulls have enthusiasm when they're near the chips. So, uh, yep. Billy's called your seagulls, oh, boys. I'd be putting words in my mouth. Yep. You make sure you see Billy after the game. Definitely wasn't Rocky that called your seagulls. There's another easy uh, conversion attempt here by Butcher. And he's got that. So that's going to make the score 43 to 3 with the halftime buzzer going in the background, but we're going to have a kickoff because that one was done right before it. We'll see what uh, Harmy do with this. Free start. Yeah, Uni might be well ahead here, but they do need a for and against. It's going to count. Yes, because, definitely. Because you know, before last week, you know, I didn't, I don't, I haven't seen the for and against this week, but b before last week, they were equal for and against with uh, your mob. Kaz uh, on 15 positive so yeah Kaz had a big win last week and of course the bye this week and then Uni got uh, uh, Dragon sorry got absolutely drumming by our uh, South so that's going to help everyone's for and against well, that, really. was a, that was a 69 point win by yeah. uh, South I think it was something like 79 <coughs> to 10 or something so big scores coming up lately in the last few weeks and that was South not even at full strength and Uni Ooh. just uh, doing what they do, just Good spreading legs it wide. Tackle, but he's come up holding his arm. Yeah, well, Warhope again out wide there. They've just just drawn in the defence, just gone man on man. And Butcher's just got them all screaming oh, for big it. Davey on the wing. Oh. oh, he's knocked it on. Davey, you have one job as the winger. You reckon you're the fastest winger in the comp and you knocked that on. Get no one near you. That's a, that, that's a fine. I'm calling it. You've been fined by your club. And uh, ref has called that half time. So we're going to go into the break. Uni 43, Crocs 3. Uh, first half there, Billy. I think it's been a bit one sided and a bit of lacking in the effort for defense for, uh, in defense for Palmy. Yeah, look, you know, we all, we all sort of expected that it was going to be hard for Palmerston. You know, university aren't taking the uh, foot off the accelerator for anyone the way that things, things are for second, third and fourth. But, you know, Palmerston don't have a lot to come from anyway. So anyway, hopefully the second half will, they'll find something to um, to help them out here. It's not, it's, not lack of it's not lack of enthusiasm, lack of manpower. Anyway. Yeah. Well, we'll catch you in the second half, ladies and gentlemen. Be sure to tune back in.
Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to the second half of this uh, contest between Uni Pirates and Palmers and Crocs. Uni leading 43 to 3. I think uh, Palmy really just wants a ball in here, and they have had all of about three minutes of uh, possession. And Uni will be. Well, we both think in the commentary box that they might go through a few new set pieces and uh, trial them out. It's always good to have a competitive. Uh, team against you instead of just a training run for some set pieces so we'll see how uh, scintillating this second half is going to be yeah it's probably not going to happen though is it they're just going to go they're going to be just going into business business mode aren't they are you going to call the triple figures oh i think so all right we'll see how we go a nice high kick again yep down to our old friend uh tonga there he's been running all day oh got away with the shepherd there but it's coming out of the back of the ruck there and he's left it behind jeez he just done more K's than a John Deere, that bloke. He just every second every second balls is, isn't it? Yeah, definitely. Josh Hall. And uh, we're gonna have a scrum and uni feed. Thirty eight meters away from their defensive try line here. Yeah, it's good to see we've got a we've had a few people on here tonight. It's fun. Jack Horner, successful uh, premiership winning coach for South. Came up, won a premiership, said, what more can I achieve in the NT? Go back down south. <laughs> One and done, that's all we uh, like. You know, coach south, won a premiership, done. Yeah. <laughs> what more can I do in my life? <laughs> <laughs> Huge push here by Palmerston. Here's Palmerston, good pressure in it. Oh, that's a great scrub. Oh, oh, no. no. <laughs> Look, I'm not going to no. question the referee. I, you know, I will. <laughs> Oh, no, look, he's no. only a young fella. What's his, it's his first or... No, sorry, not his first. Yeah, it's his second it's the, or third... Uh, third game. As, as, in a first grade. So you're not going to question him. It was just I got excited because um, Palmerston really did and I didn't think that was going to happen because that's pretty close to what had Quick happened. Quick tap by, by Butcher and he's uh, just sent it down the sideline instead of going to where the line-out would be. Yeah, it was a short arm though, but, uh, you know... He's always on Butcher when he when he crosses that line, and so you know he's not going to. Um, doesn't matter who he's against or what the score is. He's always going to make the effort. Oh. Because of where he was with the kick and it, uh, where it went out, it's actually uni ball. The new rules that came in last year. Oh, sorry, I do yeah. apologise. I didn't pay attention. Oh, and look out! Wind up now. It's boom, bash, crash, and I tell you what, they've done well to stop him because he was and he had one eye for the white line. Lay. Warhope, oh yeah, look, Warhope sent it to Butcher oh, and Butcher sure. again. Untouched. Light feet, did a dance. Not one hand on Butcher there. No. Nah. Lord of the dance, wasn't he? Hey, he's in, out, gone, few little slips, and see you later. His steps are looking good this year. They did fail him a few years yeah. ago. He kept stepping into people's shoulders, and I think he went back and worked at that because it was starting to hurt him. Yeah, well, you know, um, hold when up, he, wiser. When you step from uh, the left shoulder to the right, it wasn't working for him. He's just, you can just see him sort of sneaking out of the back there. They had it all set up, didn't they? Yeah, he's in the full back position. Boom. Bang, steps in off oh. the right foot. Yeah. Untouched. <laughs> up quick. That's the thing, you know, you've just, you're going up quick, you got to make sure you get there. Just going through again. Yep, too easy for him. And successful conversion. That's going to make the score uh, 48 to 3. Uh, uni leading the uh, Crocs. With 36 minutes to go in the uh, second half hit. Well, one area, you, if we're, we, we need to dish out some credit to Palmerston here. And one area they have been excellent have been these kickoffs. And you know, they need to take full advantage of it. They've been nice and high. They've sit them in the right spot. And Uni have um, haven't been taking them real well, have they? No. For old Mr. Mott there, he's had a bit of he's had a bit of pressure on him, hasn't he? Another nice, beautiful kick, but they're not contesting it in the air. Oh, and it's gone out. And so that's a win for Palmerston there. I think they really need to start. If you're going to have a great kicker, set it up like that. You need to at least throw one up in the air. Just to give a little bit more doubt in the minds for uni and for the rest of the season, probably something they can work on at training. 
Well, I don't know the number 23 is... Um, oh, that's a... Two, he yeah. read that like a library. You can't back up two metres off the five-metre line and still throw it to your number one guy at the line out. It's intercepted by uni and they've kicked it away. Yeah, well, Ribo's pretty Good balls. step there by Caleb. Being brought down, but he's got the legs pumping. Great work, young fella, and he's had oh, the ball stolen Ribo. by him. He's just Ryan a Oakley child. just snatched it, hasn't he? He got manhandled. Lay just over the back. He's, he's heard the call for a bit of speed. And it's dribbled out. Butcher was chasing that kick through there. Yeah, he saw some green grass, Butcher, and he saw a he saw an alleyway. He thought he'd take it, didn't he? A bit of experience here from Ryan Oakley. The boys uh, manhandled him there, but... It's going to be a... Uni ball again because they're in their 50 and went out in the 22. Just. Mm. That's a good oh. contest in the air. It's been pinched at the bottom by Palmerston. The world's best haircut for NT. He's got the ball. Place it nicely and going to push it back. He's going to put the top on. Didn't quite come off, but great meterage. Big Davies let it bounce over his head. And he's made an absolute monster of that. If that's the world's best haircut, I want to see you come to the uh, next. I want to see you come And they've done the quick week. line out. He was trying to get a penalty, but the umpire wasn't having none of that. Costly error here by Davey. Palmerston got the ball rolling. This is what we want to see. He's put that on the kick. He's seen numbers out wide. Number 14 is going to chase this through. It's been dived on by Uni. He's supposed to let him get up, but he didn't. But anyway, they haven't been penalised for it. Uni just going to settle this ball down. Butcher in the try zone there. Try line. Booming kick there, caught by the 11 for Palmerston yeah. Nicholas. Yeah, Glazebrook. And they've put that back down deep. Oh. Yeah, he started running and then tried to call the mark there, so the ref wasn't having any of that. Yeah, good call, good call. Just making sure that he knew what was going on. But, geez, the counter ruck, they're all over it, but just... The, yeah, well done. He's, the ball's just popped out. They've gone for the drive over the ruck. Yeah, a few of the uni boys off their feet White, there. I was you see thinking. White's on the ground injured again. He came back on to give him a hand. He's been really good, but he's injured again. Yeah, his shoulder is not it looking good. It just wasn't up to it, was it? He was the one who put pressure on Butcher before the kick. Found Butcher again. He's just... Oh, he's uh, show and go. That, and he's getting, oh, he didn't oh, break the line there. That was young White. Young fella there Jeez. with his busted <laughs> arm. White kicked the show hard. He's some effort by the young fella. He's got up. He's even sore than he was before. Oh, look at that. They're just... Palmerston showing all the enthusiasm in the world. There's a bit of hunger there, and I like it. No. Oh, yeah, good box kick there, and they're going to come back for the penalty advantage. It's, again, a huge advantage there. That's more than 10 metres. It's... Oh, but you know what? The advantage can go for a while. And But in all that, Palmerston, just the enthusiasm and the fight, really, really like it. They just... White, he's got a busted arm. They've probably got no other options to put there. Look, at, if I'm looking over at the Palmerston bench there, it looks empty. Yeah, well, they're still waiting for one of their boys to come back from a uh, yellow, I believe. We've well, got so. two of them sitting on the bench here. So it's still 13-15. I'm waiting for Dennis Bree to put the boots on. <laughs> I mean, the way they're going, he, he's going to be a he's going to be a solid unit to bring. <laughs> Anybody who knows Dennis, uh, what he be? He's he's been playing since what? Since, since Adam and Eve. Oh, he would have known their dad, wouldn't he? Yeah, pretty much. <laughs> he's been around a while. He brought up the uh, I think last year, the year before, he actually played a game with his grandson. Jesus, so, that'd be right too. So not a bad effort. Good old Dennis. Keeps putting on the boots. Apparently never done a hammy. I'm jealous. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, that's the only words I've got. Must, I'm jealous. You must be a flexible old bugger, eh? Oh, <laughs> flexibility. I haven't touched my toes without bending on the leg for, you know, good old 20 no, years. Touching your toes, mate. It's a young man's game. <laughs> I can do that after I've warmed up for about an hour. So we've got our time off here. A few of the Palmy boys uh, get a few injuries there. Number yeah, yeah. big 18, sucking in the big ones. Well, Gareth Felton, he, he's done well tonight. He's playing. Um, but White, he was the one who took Butcher there when Butcher looked like he was about to find a bit of clean space, and that was just pure desperation because he was on the ground grabbing his arm, and as soon as Butcher got near him, he knew that he had to knock him over. Anyway, Uni, ready for line it. out here. We all know it's going to Oakley. I don't think a 
ball's not going to go to tonight, is it? No. Uh, one there. Lay. Yeah, they're not nothing safe here. He's going to run it. Oh, nice little legs. Bump one, bump two. Oh, he's still going. The leg, the leg drive. The Jeez, they've made some ground, haven't run. they? And there's Oakley just taking advantage of Palmerston being on the back foot, but taken nicely by White. Gets out, grabs the shoulder again. He's doing a bit of damage. Yeah, Radford just thought he'd have a bit of a sneak himself. And everybody, all the forwards are going to have a crack now. Another big bobber. Big Brenton on his debut just thought, oh, I'll have a couple of yards myself. White is, oh, oh. Whoa. He, he knew what he's... He was targeting Butcher, and well. it's come up transferring because now Palmerston got the ball. It scared Butcher. I don't know if it scared him, but geez, White, he, he knew exactly what he had to do, and he wasn't giving him any room, wasn't he? Ah, we all know Butcher's scared of a big hit, so I'll give it to oh. him. <laughs> right, it came from you, not me. Yeah, yeah. you take on the war, so I'll take Butcher. I'm not taking the war, I'm not taking anybody on, mate. I am the worst put fighter you've ever seen. And Palmer's going to put that out of the back end, and going to put a huge torp on for number 23, Jono. Uh, you need to run that back over the halfway line. Not much defensive line set there by uh, Palmerson. No, they didn't give themselves time back. One, two. Oh, and a little offload. Offload out to uh, Sanderson. Sanderson's bump one. He's been taken down nicely by Smith, though. Yeah, they're all having a crack now. They can sort of see that the, the fatigue's kicking in. Rybo, he had a little dash. Out to Hall. Hall's just got really close to the line. Now oh, White spilled. again. She's still a one arm white. He's just oh, having a crack dummy. in there. Great work by Palmerson. Their scrambling defense by yeah. a few players is working. Back out of 23. He's going to put this on the boot again. Nice top. And he's kicked it out. Great scrambling defense there by Palmerson. I think that might have been the old coach's word, too. At least put something, some pressure on in the defensive line. I don't know who. Do you know number 23 is? Uh, yeah, Jono. Yeah, right. I was gonna. Well, I'll tell you what. He's having a good game. I don't. I haven't seen. I haven't seen him play before. So, don't know if it's just because he's. Uh, yeah, right. Okay. Because um, he, he's been. Uh, he's been slick. He's been smooth. He's yeah. calm. He's calm, isn't he? He's got a good boot on him, and he's put a young Caleb out of the ten position. So. Oh, to be honest, I don't know if young Caleb was off wanted to be in the ten position. I think yeah, they had no option the last few weeks. Yeah. Oh, old, White it? up nice and early, but it's still gone back to. It's gone back to the five. He's gone to the six, and the six being Radford. Yeah, Butcher, nice little pop. Oh, yeah, knocked on. I tell you what. Great pressure on Butcher early on, which forced a little bit of pop pass. And he had Mott off his hip. Mott yeah. just was just uh, didn't have any time to take the ball, did he? No, it was uh, this this defensive last five minutes from Palmerston is. Been really great to watch. I think they uh, just this little bit that they're showing that they can hold their own. As their uh, clock on this uh, the stream is 20, me uh, 20 minutes out, so we do have 28 minutes to go, not eight minutes for those tuning in. Uh, before you send in all the comments and uh, give us phone calls, still 28 minutes to go in the second half, not eight. Yeah, as you said before, there's got to be something said for enthusiasm, and there, you know, and there's plenty of uh, enthusiasm being shown. So, at the end of the day, when you've got nothing less, you know, a bit of enthusiasm goes a long way. Well, it just shows you what they're going to have in the future as well. If the boys are willing to put all the line now, that you definitely know that the future is bright for Palmerston. Well, he's got a lot of juniors. Just for how, to, why they can't maintain them is going to be a question, I guess. Big scrum there by Uni, but Palmer's going to hold the ball. Bit of a miscommunication in back play. Number nine didn't know where Jono was, and he's just put a chip over the top. And that's out on the full, so we're going to go back to where he kicked that out. That's a, a big, huge mistake there by our Palmerson. Big miscommunication. Number nine had no idea where Jono was, and uh, Caleb was there ready to go, but didn't want to pass to him. Didn't want to trust his boot. After the last few weeks, I'd uh, definitely give him another Guernsey in the kick and roll. The uni with the line out here, 20 metres out from their own line. They've won the line out and they're going to push that through Butcher's arms. Pops it back inside. Big Isaac. 
Yeah, he's got the call, isn't he? Is he? He's an inch. I reckon he's an inch out, has he? Or someone's had a sneak. Uh, yeah, yeah, so, number five. Yeah, so Ollie, Oval Linton, he, he just thought I'm second round, I don't score much. I can't get. A, I've got to get this one, don't I? But he was. Geez, he must have been tackled an inch from the line. Yeah, hey, big guy, Zach. He's a human wrecking ball. He's put on about or oh, 50 kilos in the last five years i reckon he was an absolute beanstalk and then he's just hit the gym and it's come good for him he he wasn't the big body center and now he is and it's just a, another human wrecking ball that uh you need like to utilize geez you like talking about people's weight don't you i went to school with him so i definitely know <laughs> what he looked like <laughs> both of us are blown out he hit the gym and i uh hit the bar i think he went in the centers and i went in the second row yeah, well, you know, I wouldn't mind some of it. You know, I'd like to be 80. Oh, so, yeah, that'd be that'd be good. <laughs> <laughs> and he's got the conversion there, which is just adding to his uh, points tally for the uh, highest point scorer for the year. That's going to make the score 57 to 3. Uni Pirates leading Pumps and Crocs with 25 minutes to go in the second half. Yeah, not throwing a challenge up with, up there, were they? No, well, they, um, Pumps and defense the last five minutes have been great to see. They've held up your uh, triple-figure score, so that's always what we want to see. Oh, look, oh, mate, hats off to them to come out in the second half. And, you know, when you've probably got a few blokes who are a bit busted up from the first half who haven't got much left, um, yeah, good work to them. Yeah, they're just, uh, I wouldn't say they're hiding him, but... Um, Who are they hiding? James White, he's come out into the centre roll instead of trying to take the forward side hit up for that kickoff, so... Kicked a bit deeper that time. I, yeah, they've gone, that high kick they've been doing has been great. I wouldn't have gone away from it. Every time they've kicked it, tell you what, they should be pinpointing Mott. Not, I'm not saying that Mott can't play. I'm just saying that they've put a lot of pressure on him and they've forced a lot of mistakes on him tonight. Uh, with that long kick, they've got the ball back though because Palmy, uh, Uni, sorry, have kicked that out and didn't get good distance. So Palmy with a great opportunity and they've overthrown. That's gone absolute sideways towards the university's line. Yeah, and Ollie Linton just sort of just a bit of leg drive, bumping one, bumping two, and then as usual, just White thought, oh, I've just got to do all the work here. Still adrenaline kicking in after his try. Yeah, Christian. Oh, he Christian. Pops it off. On to the debutant, Brenton. He's gone, the dummy, oh. and he's gone, don't even touch me, big fella. I'm going to tell you where to go, and boom. Ribo, Ryan Oakley, he's just in the nice little back up there. Scrambling defense Mate, there by Palmerston. But he got stuck in the ruck. It's sent out. And Butchers put it on the boot. Uh, big what Dave in the corner. Oh, make up Dave, oh. He's knocked it on again. Oh, there's no need. No, that was a rush of blood there, I think, by Butcher. And uh, Davey might be having a word to him. Can you set me up with something a little bit easier to get me on the uh, scoreboard? Oh, I don't think anybody needs to be talking. Davey needs to anyone. I just think that... Oh, well, I guess but they're again, playing a bit the winger now, dropping it. We've never heard of a winger uh, knocking it on before. Oh. As uh, this one's going to be a 22-line dropout. Big Jono here with his big boot. See where he puts this one. Nice and deep. That's yeah. a huge kick. Ooh, oh, oh. Oh, hey, I tell and you that's what. there, Accident. off oh. accidental offside there by Uni. Lack of communication and then opportunity presents. He's... Great well kick done. there. Yeah, good. Split and the two of them, make them run towards each other and no communication. For mine, him and White, mate, they've just been uh, doing... Oh, and I guess Smith too, Caleb, you can't take much away, but those three players have been um, great tonight. Well, they've elected for the scrum. Great work here. They know their line out's a little bit under pressure. Scrum's been holding up, if not winning, and a few uh, sloppy uh, penalties, but... Their scrummers look the goods tonight. This will be uh, an exciting couple of minutes here. We'll see what Palmerston can do. As uh, University are making two changes to their full pack. Yeah, so Radford's having a breather and so is Mott. I mean, they've got a bit of fresh legs there, so why not? You know, there's not much to lose from here. If you are trying to get in touch with us on the live chat, do apologise. A lot hasn't been coming through at the moment, so we will, we will get on to that.
Huge push there by Uni, but they've gone to ground oh, early. Gee, that's, he's throwing his arms out. Yep. Okay. Mm. Here comes Slick, and Slick's just gone out. He's out got, to okay. Smith, oh, sorry. He's take gonna it over step the back in board, <laughs> and he's gonna get finally brought down to ground. There was a second tackle in there, but what you got him around the bootlaces there. Uni gonna palm this out to Giono, who's gonna put that in the six and a little rap play with James there holding his shoulder, but he'll be right for a nice hit up. And we're going to play, come back for the penalty. And a bit of lip there from Uni. And we're going to have a little bit of time off due to an injured player for Palmerson. And a little bit of concern there. There's a few players around him uh, holding him steady. So uh, might not be in the best shape. Yeah, well, we just saw Weaver there. I think it is. Uh, he just popped it onto White and White sort of standing flat. He didn't have many options. So, and then he got, yeah, that, uh, we're going to lose the ball and uh, earlier offside penalty has been called back for. Yeah, geez. Doesn't look good. Who's, is that Felton? Yeah. It won't be a head injury. Won't be a brain injury is what you're oh, yeah, to say. Yeah, I didn't say that. <laughs> I didn't say that. I'm just saying made, um, the hardest part in that bloke's body would be his head. Now, oh, Gareth, he's been around a long time, so um, yeah, he's he's as hard as they come. He will, so you're only taking him off if it's a fair dick injury. Back to his feet there, and he's coming towards uh, where a, a, the penalty is going to be. See what the call is, what Palmerson want to do with the ball. And they've helped the first scrum. Why not? Yeah, they dominated the last one. Unlucky to not to get a penalty uh, from the last scrum. As we see, Felton straight back in the front row. A few neck cracks as he was walking over. Get himself realigned, ready to go. Two big front rows for both these teams. Yeah, they've just been out muscled. I mean, when you come to the set plays, they've been good. You kick off scrums. A lot to like. And another. Oh! And they've, Union managed to hook this in. Yeah, Butcher, then. Oh, huge oh. top. Collected there by number 11 for Palmo, Nicholas. Let's put that on the boot. Kick that out on the full outside the 22. That's unfortunate. Tell you what, I mean, they might have lost the ball. They, they tried to cover it well. They, they're they strong, but yeah, big mistake, isn't it? Yeah, he just took two steps out of the 22 and put it out. He didn't miss the kick by much, but... You know, game of inches, rugby unit, as we uh, all love. Fortunately, we just got that kick wrong. Right out, so. University with a line out here, 25 metres out from their try line. Yep, here he goes again. He's just. Just a standard procedure as it is with Hall at the moment. He's just having hit after hit and he's just powering through. He's just off popped load. it off and boom. Number seven, just too easy. Yeah, that was a bit slack defense. He even ran it back at the forwards from the, at the line out and no one wanted to put a uh, shoulder onto. I feel like Hall's playing for averages at the moment, isn't he? <laughs> just trying to get the numbers up. Yeah. <laughs> He's just seeing a couple of opportunities. He goes, oh, yeah, get a, got a chance here. As we uh, watch the replay here, steps back on the left left foot. Boom. Splits two. Bit of a poor oh, effort white. there. Bounces off another. Drags another one. Bounces off. Puts an offload on over the line, untouched. So he's going through five, six defenders there. No one wanted to put a shoulder on him. Well, you know what? They must have no one to come on because... Yeah, the bench is looking at, pretty depleted. At the point, James White needs to go off. I mean, he hit him with the wrong shoulder there, and that was his bad one. And, you know, it's at this point in the game, he might as well just have a breather. You yeah, know, you don't want to no, do more damage to the 
up and coming. Oh, well, I just think, I just think an injury overrides ending at the moment. I mean, if it was a grand final, you go, yeah, fair enough. But so I mean, he's showing a bit of heart, but might not be needed too much. As a uh, conversion is successful there by Butcher, that makes the score 64 to three. Uni leading the Crocs with 17 and a half minutes to go in the second half. Yeah, and again, if you do, I do apologise, we aren't getting the comments coming through. We, we, we can see the feed, but we aren't getting your comments. So I do apologise for that if you are sending something through. Um, of course, we are live on Facebook, um, SBS On Demand, and will be played on NITV. And the Rugby Explorer app. There you go, and Slick is just... That's better. Back Abby to what Dono they with a nice high kick, and they've competed in the air. That's what we wanted to see all night. Isaac's collected the ball, though. Oh. Oh. Tell you what, no, no flat line was there. He's just seen a bit, a few gaps, and took advantage. A Caleb and there, nice and deep inside his 22. Oh. Huge kick there. That's a great kick Dude. by the young fella. Smith, I tell you what, he's done everything, hasn't he? Great. He did everything he could do there. Yeah, that's a great kick under pressure, only on one foot. And he's made a good 50 metres, run through and made sure that Uni couldn't get the uh, quick tap. Great individual effort. Really uh, stepping up, showing, showing the Palmy boys what they need to do. Well, you can see there's a lot of outs at the moment. Oh, as they go again, Ribo, too easy. Butcher kicking this. Caleb's tracking that across. Ooh, good take there by Uni. It was a poor pass from Butcher. Oh, we get the bounce. Yeah, he's going to get the... Oh. He's keen, isn't he? Uh, quick line out there by Palmerston after the no-no call was uh, given to him, but they did it anyway. Get dangerous, but here comes a wrecking ball. He's just getting a little bit of a wind-up out the Butcher, and Butcher's going to see some room somewhere. He always finds it, doesn't he? And again, he's bumped oh. one, bunts two. He's done a spin in the dance. He's just found a gap, but there was no support there. That was clean. Straight off their feet there, Uni. Lucky to get away with that Lay one. Lay out to Brendan. Brendan, again, you've got to take him low. He's just going to take everybody on at the moment. Hey, you can't tackle with someone 150 kilos. Particularly if you're a winger. Arms. And there was a knock on. There was a mistake. Well, <coughs> good scrambling defense in my palm here, but they uh, might need a little, little bit of a lesson on where to tackle fellas. Make it a bit easier for themselves. Don't tackle someone around the chest if they outweigh you by over 100 kilos. But again, yeah, look, we, we spoke about, I guess, last time. Um, we spoke about this last time we uh, we had Palmerston playing and we talked about, you know, they, when it comes down to it, mate, you can't, you can't milk a bull. So if you haven't, you haven't got the cattle, you haven't got the uh, product, you can't produce it. And um, they're, put, they're doing everything they can. Well, yeah. You know, like, there's enthusiasm, but they just don't have it at the moment to actually... Uh, look a bit short on numbers as well, and that never helps in the fast pace that it is. And they're going to feed that out to John He's going to put another good torp. Nice, sent that deep there. Yeah, down to... Win, is a Winstrad down there is taken down. He's just he's beat one. He's just walking yeah. on it too, but he got plenty of support to help him along. Yeah, and out to Ryan Oakley, and there's the wrecking ball. He's just decided, oh, I'll go out wide here now because it looks like easy. Oh, nice, well backed up by Oakley, who's going to reap the rewards. Yeah, nice pass back inboard there. We all thought that uh, the human wrecking ball was going to take on the little fullback. Well, he worked on him, a reprieve he? and pass it inside <laughs> before he uh, needed the contact. Well, a little bit of sportsmanship, maybe, has uh, crept into the game. End of the day, smart rugby, you know what I mean? Like... Oakley, better position. Uh, he's done everything he needed to do. Let's yep. just see the replay here. Butcher, pass that out wide. Out to uh, All the Oakley, isn't it? Oakley. Hits the barrel. Barrel draws. Uh, I'll pass that in early. And, and Oakley back underneath. Just wide of the sticks there. Nice, simple uh, play there by Uni. 
Yep, so, you know, something that um, I guess this, this one's done and dusted, but next week, uh, Palmerston take on South for the Slugger Cup. Slugger, a player for both teams, much loved who passed away, unfortunately. So uh, each year that when those teams go at it, they, um, in memory of the big man, they... Uh, be a great game to watch, actually. Well, where is that one getting played at? At the uh, at Warren Park, mate. Oh, at the uh, the Rotos home ground. Yep. So they're going to have an over 35s, which I thought was a bit rich. I thought that 35s a bit too fit for blokes like me. I think they should be like over 43s. But anyway, they've kept it over. Um, big. They've asked big Tene, um, Teniela Tuiaki, a South Old boy, to have a run. So I thought if he's going to have a run, I might have a run too and get the uh, Bash brothers back together. Oh, I might have to send some uh, scouts in, uh, put a few camera work and camera well, boys in to get some footage of you. You mightn't realise this, but uh, combined, me and Big Teniella have uh, got over 50 NRL games together. Oh, that's that's a very interesting fact. If mm. uh, you take yourself out of that equation, how many is the uh, number still? 50. Oh, no, no, no. You always got But gotta, that's not the point. I'm that's just not saying, the point, I, yeah. I did not tell... Bash them. Brothers have got 50 <laughs> NRL games, and that's all we're going to hear. <laughs> well, considering... Nice high kick there by Palmerston <laughs> again. Well, he'd be 150 kilos. I'm not all 75, but, you know, if he bashes them, I follow him up. Yeah, well, you got to... <laughs> bash Bros are, you know, one bash and one's a bro. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, back onto the game here and lay... Nice little hit up by Yenny at the lay, lay to Butcher, and again, oh. the forwards just lining up for little hits, and it's just becoming easy now for uh, Ollie, Ollie Linton. He's just taken on three there. Nice little clean out, and then comes Warhope, just seizing oh. the moment, sizing him up. A nice little pop oh, out to Butcher, Butcher, who's going to back up. No oh, oh, a little, little bit flick. of flick pass. He heard the call. He had a bit of a, he had a, had a little side look, and then boom, and just proved it again. Butcher just do it all while I'm here. Yeah, a little bit of class in yeah. that uh, last pass. As we watch the replay here, three on one. Doesn't pass it. Finally gets brought down by the injured Palmerston player there. You can't blame White for going higher when his shoulder's busted. Yep. He's on the tackle on one arm tonight. And going to step back inboard. Offload that to Butcher. As we see, the magic flick. Bang. Underneath the post. Yeah. Just Thanks too much. Coming. You know, look, you, again, it's, it's too much support in, the, in backing up. And yeah, well, Palmerston only have, well, it looks like one on the bench and he's down injured. And we've got, we know at least two, three players in the Palmerston line on the field are currently holding, I'm going to say, major injuries. Uh, bit of scrambling defense, you can only do that for so long. Oh, well, Butcher hasn't missed one yet. But yeah, I mean, you know, again, can't, you can't. Um, you can't criticise them for not having a go. No, definitely not. They're, they're, they're still sticking with it, even with the score line 78 to 3 with uh, ten, 10 minutes to go. Palmerston still, they're still making the breakdowns. They're still making Uni at least run it and do a few. They're not just giving the game up, which is what we want to see. And the fact that, you, uh, and the fact that uh, Mick Crossman is number five there, the uh, new coach and bloke who's been running around for a while and I found out recently he uh, is mates with a young good mate of mine or a bloke I grew up with out at Condoble in Central West New South Wales I mean he's he shouldn't be running around in first grade he's <laughs> you know so he's having a dig because they need him oh nice kick again by Crocs knock on by uni. by uni well, one area that's been yet. excellent oh slick he's one step two step Jesus he's had a great game he's just seen a bit of air Awesome. Under the 13 play. steps through, tries to step back through the left side, and we're going to pass that onto the wing. But there's a there's there's a hooker on the wing. Stop trying to see you, please. That's a milky filler job, and we're going to pass that into the big number four. Steps one comes back in board. Good work, Bruce. 14 there. The breakdown is going to pass that to the blind side. Huge hit up there. He was injured before, but he's back up and yeah, running. Felton. Going to pass it back to the number four. Bruce is having another dig at him. Yeah, keeping it nice and tight. They can see an, op they can see an opportunity and they know where it is. It's nice and in close, isn't it? Going to slow this one down. Dummy play there from the big boy at the back. Oh, he's had the a world's call. Biggest, uh, uh, world's best haircut. 
Just going to do another pick and drive. Felton here with a pick and drive has been met solidly in defence, but gets over the advantage line. Scrapping for every inch, aren't they? Palmy are looking good, and they're over the line, and they've scored. Yeah, you've got to be happy about that. That's just... Oh, he's oh, been held up. Oh, OK. Oh, the crowd went wild. There's been a... No, the touch judge has called that a try. He said no. Nah. It was down and then ripped up. So we've got a try for Palmerston. Great effort there, Palmy. I can't Thanks, Ellen, for being touchy on point there. We will uh, try and get the name yeah, of the try number eight, there. Yeah, uh, number eight looks like it was Baker. <laughs> Um, but, I mean, look, that, that would, to me, go down as a team try. Everybody was just making sure they kept that in nice and tight when they just scrapping for every inch of ground. Oh, if the ball had been overturned, it was going to be a 100-metre sprint to Uni. They had uh, Palmerston and everyone at that breakdown apart from one. Yeah, well. Everyone was in there, so a great team effort of knowing what was needed. Get in there and just throw the body in for a pick and drive. As uh, Jono is going to try and go for the conversion here, out wide. Looks like a metre in from the sideline. Well, the way he's played the night, I wouldn't back him out because he's had a belter, hasn't he? Yeah, he's had a belter, really good game. The way he's setting up, we might have an unusual uh, kicking style here. Taking every, he's taking every chance to make sure it's clean, isn't it? Oh, it's come well off the boot. Has he got the distance? He's got the distance. Oh, uh, just be sure. Oh, unfortunately, didn't get the accuracy. So that's going to make the score 78-2-8 with six minutes to go. Pirates leading the Crocs after a great team effort try there by Palmy. Yeah, I've just seen, uh, as while well, that kick was going on, uh, Mick Crossman, number five, who's taken over as coach, I think I know why he he's playing. A, he I wanted a shout-out. I think he's getting TV time. That was his... Yeah, so whoever was supposed to play second row and got pipped because <laughs> Mick wanted to get himself on TV. Um, yeah, now you know your reason. Oh, the ball's going to go down his throat. The oh, young fella's right. collected that white, and he's going to have the coach... Do the clean out over top of him. That's what you want to see. The young fella getting backed up by the old boys. You have to be calling Farlap from now on, wouldn't we, White? <laughs> oh, don't oh, stop him. He, contact, he mate. hesitated, didn't he? Yeah. The winger there showing a little bit of inexperience, uh, Nicholas. Going to pass that out to Caleb, who's going to go out to Jono. Big pressure on him. Oakley has done that, and they've done it over the top. Boom. And there he goes under the debutant. He's oh, just he's bounding. Go One, two, three. Has oh, he been held up by the. Try. Yeah, look, he, I don't think he Smith was held up chance, and he, he finally rigged it free. Yeah, Not so well, much that Caleb can do there. He probably He's had 80 kilos on him, didn't he? Only 80? Mate. He came in saying 150 earlier. It doesn't look Caleb's uh, been in a, a good as pasture. Yeah, well, I think. Just look at this there on the uh, replay here. Huge pressure on the kick. Gets on the side of the boot, straight down his throat, one on one. You're a big front rower versus the fullback. Yeah. He, drives him he, back. He saw a few backs in front of him and he knew he had him. Yeah, he was he? he was never gonna pass that. Well, why would you? <laughs> front rowers. As we've got a chance to the kicker here, it looks like uh one of the wall choke fellas. Yeah. Yeah, and just back on Mick Crossman because, you know, he wants his time, doesn't he? <laughs> um, found out during the week he's an old Parks ball man. Now I grew up in a town about now west of Parks, um, but the old Parks balls. And uh, there we go, Warhope. Oh, clean as you like, isn't it? Eh? You yep, Butcher, you fired. We've got another kick. To be honest, just proves Butcher's been hogging it. Yep. <laughs> That's going to make no. me score 83 to. No secret, is it? Butcher hogging it? Eight. <laughs> three minutes ago. Oh, no, I'm only not. joking, Robbie. I'm only joking. If you got, if you got it, mate, use it. <laughs> <laughs> and in front of that, there's a Parks Balls player playing for the South. So, um, you know. Never a big fan of Parks till now. Keep it coming, boys. <laughs> <laughs> we'll be an hour away. You're going to be a competitor, aren't you? Yeah, definitely. We used to play them all the time in sport, so. There's uh, Palmer singing again. It's back underway here. We'll see if they go long or a nice short up high. They're kicking on the restart. Has been on point tonight, actually. Yeah, he's gone. Here he goes again. Up Good high. Going to contest this in the air. Oh, 
And looks like they've won that back. Plenty to offer in the kicks oh, And have. then they've turned it over to the breakdown. You knew you got the ball yep. again. Christian, he's just gone beat, beat the old fella. Hey, hey Mick, if you're going to get yourself some TV time, mate, make sure you oh. can back it up with a tackle, eh? Yeah, Warhope, clean set of heels. He's gone, don't worry about boys, I'll take this on. And he's gone, boom, I'll take you too. But well, yeah, yeah, Mark Smith, Smith wasn't letting him pass, was he? Butcher, clean air, and out to Lay. Lay's been worked hard all night, get a bit of reward. Ooh, he's got Ooh. some reward, but he pushed it, didn't he? Yeah, he nearly ran out of the uh, dead ball line there. I Sonny Bill Williams like in the World Cup. Ah, uh, well, I mean, again, trying uh, to... Long range try here. Porto, no, nah, not going to pass this. I'm just going to barrel over another one. Nice fend off. Unmarked. I'll go myself again. Gets caught up. So a little bit of ill discipline there. But great clean and support. Butch is going to get this. Pass it inboard. He could have gone himself. And the number nine is going to get on the score and list as well. Yeah, well, Lay, he's. he's been a good platform. He's sent a good platform for Butcher all night. But yeah, when once Warhope gets a bit of a run on, you've got to get yourself in position. If you if you're not in position, haven't got your feet right, you know, he's he's, geez, he's near impossible to stop. Oh, what's he taking the win then? Uh, I think he was uh giving a little bit of credit to the crowd for nice. his uh, non passing. I'm gonna say no win and that's he might have been oh just in case I miss it. Yeah he's got a lamp <laughs> for the win. A lamp for the wind and a lamp for the rain tonight. There's uh no rain, but there was some wind. Mm. Anyway, my grandmother could have kicked that. <laughs> she hasn't got any legs. Some busy lady. Yeah, well. Look, a minute to go. Yeah, that try makes it uh, 92 to 8. Uni leading the Crocs. One minute to go, as Billy said. Big week next week for uh, Uni, Uni and... Casarina, um, I'm sure we've missed Casarina being on our screens. What's it that, about their uh, 20th TV game this year? Oh, we've got, to, <laughs> we've got to put the boys up there. I'm sure Milky had nothing to do with that. Oh, he's, <laughs> he's a better, better looking on TV. Better looking twin. Well, you keep saying that, I'm not convinced. Uh, he's the only twin that's on TV. His brother's out injured, so got to go that way. Yeah. Uh, Palmer's got that ball back from the kickoff there. I'm going to go sort of some uh, pick and drives there. Bit of a body height issue there, and it has been pushed backwards. Good defense there by Uni. Uni surprised it out to the backs. Uni have surprised me tonight. Oh, out there to Jono. Goes. He's going to cut out yeah. ball oh. to Nicolas, who's put that down, unfortunately. I've got to say, when you call a number, is that Keane? You reckon Keane's just had a haircut? And we, uh, mustard, I mean. Mustard's had a haircut. No. And missed it. No. Oh, well, full time. Yeah, that's all she wrote, ladies and gentlemen. 92 to 8 mm. is the uh, final result there. Um, just a nice, solid effort uh, there by Uni. And I think a lack of numbers and a lack of experience uh, was uh, Palmer's. Too many undoing. old blokes in Palmer's side. That's what it was. <laughs> And look, yeah, you know, and you know, if you're taking anything away from that game for Palmerston, you know, White Smith, um, Blake, you call Jono, the one I call Slick, he, <laughs> number 23, great game. Um, so yeah, look, one of those things. It's been a tough year with COVID numbers for them. So look, onward and upward for everyone. Next week, big game for uh, Uni. They've got to, they've got to keep the pressure on Kaz. Kaz the pressure on them. So should be a good one. Yeah, it should be a couple of good games. Uh, South versus Palmy and then Casarina versus uh, Pirates with Dragons with the bye. So, big round coming up. And uh, next week is actually Ladies' Day for Casarina Cougars. So, they'll be wanting to show up and uh, give a good shout-out to the ladies. So, oh, well we hope that everyone tunes in next week. What sort of squad you blokes carry? You'll get full teams then. Oh. <laughs> TV the and ladies there. Jeez, I tell you what, you won't be short, will you? We had the biggest crowd we'd had all year in the old B grades, so B grades where it's at, apparently. All oh, right. So uh, thank you, ladies and gentlemen, for tuning in, uh, of course, on uh, SBS On Demand, NITV, Rugby Explorer app, and Facebook Live. We hope to see you next week. Good night. Good night. You've been rockified and billified. <laughs>